Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Wall to Wall Art. And today, I'm going to be drawing this piece for you. This is a commission piece that I've done. Uh, so the client asked me to auto logos, pencil this whole image based on a, a poster that he sent me. And then uh, I linked it after it was done. So in this video, I, I've shown a lot of inking techniques. So if you're interested in inking especially, uh, take a look at this video. So this is going to be fun. Uh, here we go. First start, what I usually do is uh, out inking all the straight edges first. So as I'm working on this, I'm using a repeater graph, the red one, because I would do all the thick lines first. So right here, I'm just gonna go and do it all the way without moving my ruler that much. So. Just do all the parallel lines first. That's what I usually do. And then as I'm making, I'm also thinking about which lines should be thicker and which lines should be uh, thinner. And I'll ink around other areas. Some artists still like to go, like they'll do this way and then do this way and do this way. But I find it uh, much more efficient if you just do all lines in one direction first. Like that, okay, and I, I see more lines, so I'm just gonna continue on. So this is um, a page that I uh, originally, um, it was a commission, uh, someone contacted me and asked me uh, if I can draw uh, this image. This image was uh, something that they sent me. I think it's it could be a, a Final Fantasy uh, poster or Final Fantasy game cover or something so they sent me like a, a picture of it and then what I did was just like uh, I just I just drew it so I had I had like um I looked at the picture and then I just drew it and then uh, I referenced it and then took a little bit of time to draw it and then now I, I drew in pencil after drawing pencil I'm gonna ink it this is what I'm doing right now see I'm going all direction uh the first thing I did was uh the client wanted me to do the the lettering font so i did all the lettering so if you want to see a video on how i did the lettering uh i'll add the links like uh, right over here so you can check that out uh if you want to see how i did the lettering and then uh now i'm doing all the inking of the the character the figure so uh, the first thing i'm doing is all the straight edge work first now some of you who are watching this video are wondering why am I putting pennies underneath? Uh, the reason I put pennies underneath is so uh, when I'm inking, the ink doesn't seep underneath the ink. Now I'm going to demonstrate how ink can seep underneath a ruler. So if I had a piece of paper like this, and then I, I inked a line or something, and then my ruler was like not beveled, as in the side that's flat. And I, I accidentally move my ruler over it, I'll, I'll smudge it. You see how that smudge? But if I use, right, that, right there, if I use a bevel side, this side, where the pennies are, and I move my ruler on top of that, in between the pennies, it's not smudging anything. And also, I can see like what I'm what I'm making. You do have to be careful about uh, moving your pennies, you know, like this. So you, you could smudge if you move your pennies there. But if you're careful, it, having an acrylic ruler, it's uh, easier to to see what you're uh, inking. I'm just uh, wiping off the uh, the smudge underneath the pencil so I don't smudge the artwork. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna continue inking more. See what else I need. There's a lot of other stuff. So this, this curve here, I'm gonna use something called a uh, flex curve. This is the flex curve, which is, there's a bevel side on this. So what I'll do is I'll just bend this ruler. It's essentially a ruler that I can bend in shape. And then when I bend it, I'll, I'll hold it in place. I'll hold it with two hands. Okay, what I'll do is, I, you can either use a French curve or a flex curve. Let me see if the French curve works. Sometimes the French curve doesn't have exactly the shape. And if you don't have it, you can just pull out the uh, the flex curve. The flex curve, you can bend it as much as you want. Uh, try not to overbend, because if you overbend, you'll, you'll break the French curve. Because in the French curve, there's a little metal wire in there. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it right over here. And then I'm going to start inking that line. 
like this. And as I'm making, I'm also concentrated on thickness of the line. Okay. Like that. And then we have the outer line right over there. Like that here. And then there's another line. So uh, you can use one called no repeatograph and control the line weight. So if you go once, you get a thinner line. If you go back twice, you get a thicker line. Like that. So here, I, I didn't go all the way around because I'm saving that step for the use of a template. And I'm going to continue. See how I'm bending this? Bending into shape is, is flexible. Okay, so I'm going to find that shape that I like best. Okay, this one looks pretty good. And then hold on to the shape. Sometimes I'll hit it in. Hit it in. There, there we go. And then I'll ink that line. There's that line. And then we got another line right over here. Okay, so from here. So this is a commission sketch, but I'm I'm inking it as if I'm inking something for for publishing. Okay, uh, so those of you who don't know for who's watching this video for the first time and, and don't know who I am, my name is uh, Walden Wong. Um, I'm a comic book artist. I do work for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Dark Horse, Disney, pretty much all the publishers. Been doing comics for for a while now. Okay, so I'm going to put away this uh, flex curve and I'm going to show you how I go about uh, fixing that curve. What I'll do is I'll use a template. I'll find the correct curves. And after using this template uh, for a while, you, you do get to know which curve works the best. I remember the first time I started using this uh, this French curve, I mean, this, this uh, template, it took me a while to understand where everything is. But once you're used to it, everything becomes easier. There we go. So I'll do some flicking motions. And then right over here, continue that. Make sure your lines follow through. Okay, and then right over here, we're going to find this curve. And that curve. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to add some more just to thicken up that line a little bit. See if that curve doesn't match. Okay, that one looks okay. There we go. And then we're going to do this side. We're going to find this side here. Oh, here, here, and then there. I also have some other videos where I'm making Iron Man. So if you're interested in seeing how I use uh, this template to ink Iron Man, Marvel Comics Iron Man, um, uh, check that out. Uh, look at some of my other videos. Okay. Now these uh, nuts and bolts, since I have this... Uh, Template, I might as well just use the template and do everything here first. So when I make it, I always like to do all the straight edges first, get that out of the way. And this character has so many straight edges. Say so straight edge is uh, either a ruler or a template or a French curve or a flex curve. There we go. And then we're gonna find out, find the right shape, making the partial shape here. Then right over here, it looks like it's going to be this shape. So if you're interested in buying a template, the same one as, as I'm using here, uh, uh, underneath the uh, video, I'll add some uh, links to where you can buy some of the same products that I use. Anything you order from those uh, links, from my Amazon links, Amazon gives me a little kickback, so thank you for that. It's my Amazon affiliate account where... But if I refer someone in, someone refer someone orders something from those links, they'll send me like a very very small percentage, and that that helps me make these videos. Because when I'm doing these videos, I don't really get paid for these videos. I just do it for fun. Um, I just also hope that uh, people can learn from them. Okay, so I'm gonna start making more details here. Okay, and then let's start doing. So when I'm done inking that place, I'm also want to keep track uh, keep track where I'm asking because I don't want my hand to go go over there. 
So I'm gonna ink this both here. Because if my hand goes over here and it's not dried, uh, you're gonna smudge it. And with inking, uh, it does take maybe a few seconds before your uh, your inks dry. Like the ink that you lay down. Not not like a ballpoint pen. When you write on top of it, uh, it will dry immediately. Uh, sometimes if you're, for example, if you're left-handed and you're writing and then your hand is smudging over it, then you'll notice that um, you're smudging some of the ink, even with the ink paint. Ink. So uh, when you're inking, uh, be mindful of um, where you last inked the line. Okay, here's the bolts. Okay, I'm just finding the right shape. Okay, and then just the outline. I just want to do the outline of the bolts first. So just gonna continue to do the outline. And then the outside of the bolt, uh, it's kind of jaggedy, and then we're just gonna freehand the jaggedness, the, the zigzag motion later. Okay, this one, I'm gonna use the side of this. So that's, that's all the bolts here so far. Okay, and let's see what other parts. Uh, we're gonna do this logo too. Okay, get that out of the way. So this logo, we're gonna find the right curve. Looks like this is the best one. It looks like this is the best curve here. So we're gonna ink that line here, followed by this outer line. Okay, and then this line flows through here. We're gonna find the right shape. Okay, we're gonna use this one. Okay, we're gonna just go right like that. And then the bottom. Okay, the bottom one, let's see if we have that shape. Looks like we don't have that shape. If we don't have that shape, I'll use a circle shape and I'll improvise. So when I'm improvising, I'll find the larger shape. Okay, larger shape here. And then I'll mark half of a circle. And right here, the other side, I'm gonna mark half. And this one, we're gonna need a, a larger a larger template. So I have a larger template here. I wanna get that larger size. I'm gonna find the right size. So it looks like it's gonna be a partial of uh, this one. So we're gonna do this. Drag it, and I'm gonna shift it a little bit, shift it to a, a large arc, and then complete that arc over there. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna find the inside one. The inside one, let's see if we can use this one. Let's see if this flows nicely. So we're gonna use maybe this side. Okay, so this is the partial arc over here, and then the partial arc right over here. You see how I did the, uh, the partial arcs? Or that low the orb behind there. Okay, we're gonna continue on and do the other bolts over here. So the bolts here, it's gonna be this one, and then this side, and then I'll flip it over and I'll use the same degree that I used uh, from doing the top side. So here. When I say same degree, uh, this does like 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees. So different uh, degrees, ellipses over here. And then when I go down, I just get a wider, wider one like that. And then here, we're going to use that same degree and then go down here. It looks like it's going to be this one. And then we're just going to ink this line and then this line here. And then this line and this line over here. Okay, and we see oh, there's another bolt over here. So we're gonna find the right degree. It looks like it's this one. And then we're gonna do that side also. And then we're gonna go back and do the opposite side. Okay, slight, slight arc. So the faster I move the repeatograph pin, the thinner that line is. The slower I move it, the thicker that line is. Um, once you practice inking with the repeatograph, and then you you kind of understand your tools. If you ink slower, that line tends to be a little bit thicker. If you ink faster, that line is a little bit thinner. Okay, it looks like that's all the parts. I'm gonna ink these little uh, buttons over here. I'm gonna use the deg right degree, 
it looks like it's we can use this one so ink this one i'm just going to go all the way top and then as i'm going up i'm going to shift to a smaller one uh right over here i'm going to turn it around use the same degree and we're going to make this thicker on this side okay and then as i go down i'm going to switch to the larger one except for this one Right here, switch to the larger one. Connect it and right over here. Okay, there's the boat, and it looks like there's another arc over here, so I'm gonna ink that arc. So we're gonna sh move this, move this up here, here. This one looks good. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a straight edge, my ruler. Uh, Keep, keep in mind, I just just I just inked this area, so I don't want to smudge it. So I'm going to ink this line here, okay, right over here, and then I'm pivoting. You you see me doing a lot of this, and the reason for that is because I'm inking that line either this way or that way. So I'm not just inking a straight line. So I'm controlling how thick I want that that line to be. So if I want to go back, it will make that line thicker. Okay, so on this side, it looks like it's going to be a strap that goes here. We're going to make this strap up here, and then that strap down there. And this one goes up here. Okay. And then we're going to continue finishing, wrapping up this, uh, this sword over here. So how many of you guys are into this Final Fantasy VII remake? Uh, comment down below. Let me know how you like the game. Um... Should be a pretty fun game. I never played it myself, but uh, a lot of people are talking about it. So let me know what you think. I'm going to continue inking more on the sides. And so far, I'm only, I'm still using the number, this red, repeater graphic. This, this red one is size, what size is this? Uh, 2 over 0.60. Okay, good. Inking all these other lines that I complete here. Right over there. Any other straight edge? Looks like uh, looks like all the uh, straight edges that I'm gonna use the uh, flex curve. The earlier I would say that uh, be careful when you use flex curve. Here's, here's a flex curve that I had, which I broke. I bent it too much, and the steel thing that was inside broke. That's why it kind of has that little bent there. But you know, I still keep it because I I can use this to do with like the smaller curves. So right here, I'll bend it here. And then that other one that I have, this other one, I'll save this for doing larger curves, it, for larger curves. And then the one that's broken, I'll just use this to do the smaller curves. So right over here, I'm gonna find the right curve, kind of bend it a little bit, bend it to the right shape, hit it here. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna ink that line right over here, right across. And then follow through. Okay, I'm gonna do the, the insides over here. Make sure you follow through. Right over here, I'm gonna eat this. And then this line there. And then we're gonna have some of the insides here. Right over here, we eat that line. And then this line. And I want this line to be thicker, so when I went to thicker, I'm pivoting this way and I'm pivoting that way. And I'm going back over the, the flex curve and I'm thickening, thickening up that line. Okay, and some of these loops, we're gonna use a template here. So this template, I'm just gonna ink this line like this. And same, just follow through, keep them all the same arc. Okay, right over there, keep all that the same. What other... Okay, so far so good. All the uh, all the straps and stuff is done. Uh, we have another strap over here, and then some of these straps I can freehand it. But you know, since I have the template out, out already, might as well just just get with the template. Okay, there's a little shadow here. I'm gonna fill that in with black. Then control how thick you want certain areas to be. It's like that. 
Okay, what other area? Here's um, here's another metal strap. Okay, watch. Here, I'm going to use partial arcs. Okay, I'm going to use this part of the template here. And then shift it up. I'm going to ink that line and then shift it up and then ink this line. Okay, and then as I go towards the other side, I'm going to find the right curve. Okay, make sure it, it flows. So this one looks good. And then I'm going to find a larger one. Make sure it flows. Like that. Find a larger one. Make sure it flows. Right over here. Okay. And then this, this line over here, I'm just going to use this side of the, uh, the flex curve. Just one line. Like that. Give it a little bit of arc instead of a straight ruler. Okay. So we have this, uh, this buckle over here. We're just going to use this side. Give this a thickness, move it over. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use the side and I'm going to move with my left hand. I'm moving the template. Okay. So right over here, we're going to use the side. I'm going to hold here and then move the template a little bit with my left hand. So with enough practice, you, you'll be able to shift this a little bit and ink at the same time. And then we have this strap over here. So the other side of the strap, then we have this strap right over here. And then we're gonna ink this strap. I should I could freehand it, but I, I wanna show you how I move with my left with my left hand. See the arc? See? See? Okay. And then um let me finish all these other rounded parts here. Gonna ink this one, this one's the glove, ink that here, and then shift it, draw that line, ink that. And then we're gonna go over here, shift this, okay, um, ink through the words, just a little dot, and then give that a thickness. Okay, add a little strip, and then the outside. The outside we're gonna use this line here. And now I'm going to ink the outside of the gloves. We're going to use this side. And then we're going to use this side. Just go here. Oops. Then I'm going to make that a little bit thicker. Like that. Actually, I'm going to make the whole thing thicker. We're going to make uh, this side a little bit thicker. Okay. And then we're going to make this side a little bit thicker. And then the bottom of this this arc a little bit thicker. We want some line weights over there. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Okay, uh, looks like any other... Oh yeah, there's a... We need a ruler over here. So I'm going to get my template. And then make sure it follows through. We have a line here. Okay, so the reason I turn my paper is because the paper I, I mean it's easier for, easier for me to reach. You know, if if I was doing this way, the bottom part kind of hits my stomach, and I have to reach up there. But if I do this, it's just easier to reach me. Okay, right over here. Ink that line, and then I'm gonna thicken up that line here. In here so straight lines are pretty pretty quick and straightforward okay and then some of the hair right over here let's just finish up that part okay we're gonna keep that line here there we go and then the outside of the sword okay so far so good Okay, the, the nuts and bolts, we're just gonna zigzag. Gonna zigzag right over here. We're gonna do that quickly. Okay, and then we're gonna zigzag over here. It's almost like doing a lot of uh, WWs or uh, MMs. So just zigzag, zigzag, zigzag right over here, all the way down here. And then we'll zigzag over here. Okay, right over here, zigzag, zigzag. This part, this part is easy. 
You can use a ruler to zigzag if you want. Okay, so far that's all the uh, the middle part. I'm gonna ink in some of these these round circles. So I'll use a template here. So there's a circle here. When I was drawing the circle, I don't really know what that circle is because look at the photo, there was a circle there. So I just drew it. Okay. Uh, well, usually as an artist, when you draw yourself, it's best to know exactly what everything is. And we have a few more options. So now I'm gonna switch from the red one, uh, this size to a smaller size. Uh, the repeater graph, colonel repeater graph, this is the size we're going to use a brown one, and this is size 1 over 0.5. Right over here, 1 over 0.5. Okay. And I'm going to start inking all the little ovals over there. Uh, let's do this, this arc over here first. So, make sure, ink that line like this, here, and then keep it flowing like that. Ink this line here. in here and then the ovals we're going to use let's see which is the best oval we'll use this size okay so what we're going to do is we're going to ink that oval in shift it and then ink this side see look at that okay so that same oval it's the larger oval we're going to ink the oval here shift it ink this side and then this oval Oval, shift it, and eat this side. So they look like buttons. Here's there's there's three smaller ones over here. We're gonna ink, do the same thing. Shift, shift it a little bit. Ink it, shift it, and then the other one right over here. It's oval and then half half oval, just like that. And any other ovals? Yeah, there's another two more ovals right over here. There's one here. So this one we're gonna ink this whole oval. Shift it like that. And then this one's a smaller one. We're going to use a smaller one, ink it, and then shift it. There we go. And then we're going to freehand that. So that looks like that's all the straight edges. Oh, no. There, there's some uh, nuts and bolts over here. So I'm going to put away this one. Notice that I was using a, a thicker re repeater graph. And I'm going down to the small size. This one's the, the brown one. And I'm going to shift over to the, the yellow one, which is an even smaller size. This one's a size... Zero zero over point three zero. Okay, so this one I'm gonna ink in all the. Make sure I don't touch any areas. That I just ink. Give give that give that time to dry. So I'm inking this straight line in here, here, and then also here. So okay, and then here, and then here just for the speed of uh, sake of quickness, I'm gonna freehand some of those lines but let me ink in all the lines that are straight okay so we have that so so with this we're gonna ink in this line for the bolts okay there's that bolt and then we have these little triangles i also uh made a video on how to draw using shapes, which is just triangles, cylinders like this one, squares. So check out that video in my other videos if you're interested in watching that. Okay, and then the, the bolts, I'm gonna add some shadows to the bolts. So I'll find the right arc, and let me show you how I'm gonna do the shadows. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can have a closer look on how I do these, these bolts for the shadow. So we're gonna find the right arc, here, okay, we're going to, we're going to use this one. We're going to ink, ink in this line and then add the shadow. And then as I ink in each line, I'm adding a shadow. So one line, shadow, one line, and then the shadow. Okay. This will make your job much easier instead of uh, inking the whole, inking the whole thing and then going back and try to fill in the shadow. So I'm using the template for me to fill in the shadow as I'm inking each line. See that? Okay, we'll do, we'll do the same thing here. So again, we're gonna find the right arc. Looks like we're gonna use this one. And then, let's see, actually we're gonna use this one. This one fits better. Okay, we're gonna ink in one line, fill in the shadow, or you can fill in the shadow first and then fill in the other lines. 
fully aligned, ink in the shadow. And then with my left hand, oops, CVC, with my left hand, I'm, I'm shifting the template around. Okay, so move it down, shift it, move it down, shift it, fill it in, move it down, shift it, fill it in. See how that easy that is? It's uh, one of the techniques. This is pretty fun when I when I do this. Okay, so that's that's another nut, uh, bolt, and then we have the last one. Make sure you find the right curve. Looks we'll like this is a good curve. So I'm gonna start from the bottom. Okay, we're gonna ink a line. Let's see where the shadow is. We have the shadows on, on this side. Fill it in. Okay, can you guys, uh, we'll shift this so you guys see better. Okay, I'm gonna ink in another line. Fill it in, ink another line, fill it in. And we're just gonna continue go all the way to the top. Take your time. There we go. We're almost there to the top. See, and then there, there's the three bolts. Now let's zoom back out. Zoom back out a little bit so you can continue to see me. Let's see what other areas that need uh, ruler work. Well, that's all the areas that uh, needed ruler work. So uh, we're going to start using the next tool. And let me show you what the next tool is. So the brush. Uh, this is a Pentel Aquash watercolor brush. I'll dip this in ink. Do this. Dip it in ink. And then I'll start inking. So we're gonna start doing, let's do the larger parts first. Let's do some of the hair. Okay, we're gonna ink in some of the hair. Um, we're gonna make sure we find the right arc. So watch how I use the brush. I'm gonna glide the brush in. Okay. You want to be as soft flowing with the brush as you can. Okay, we're going to continue. The holding line, usually I'll make that thicker. The holding line is the outside of the lines. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can have a better look at what I'm doing. Okay, so we're right over here. I'm going to push that brush out like this, and that gives me a thick line, and I'm going to go this way, which gives me a thinner line. So over there, I'm going to push that brush at the angle. That gives me a thick line, and then as I go here, we want that thinner line. And then we have the nostrils. Okay, and then I'm going to continue inking some of the hair. Let's zoom back a little bit. Okay, so some of the hair. Okay, and then as I'm inking, imagine you're using a, imagine you're flying an airplane, the tip of the brush. You want the, the tip of the brush to land softly. When it lands softly, you're going to get a nice tip line. Okay, so let me explain. So right over here, you, you land softly, you're gliding the airplane, and then you're taking off to get that sharp point. Okay, so I'm going to do it again here. Land, take off. You see that sharp point? What you do is you're pressing down, and as you're ending the line, you're lifting up. Pressing down, and then you're lifting up. Press down, and then lift up. Right over here. Okay. Go to eat. Continue eating each uh, here. Okay, so right here, we're going to slowly press down. So I'm basically, I'm inking in the air, and I'm pressing down. So we'll do that again here. Ink down, and flick up. And you want to follow through with your, uh, with your inking. So that means you, you, the faster you go with that line, the smoother that line is. The slower you move your hand, if you don't have a, uh, if you don't practice enough, the more chance that your line is going to be shaky. So for new, for artists that are new at this, the faster you ink that line, the faster, the more smoother you get that line. Because the slower you move, 
there's a good chance that it's going to be shaky. And you want to make sure everything flows nicely. Okay, I'm going to ink it in that, uh, the ear. And then, yeah, I'm doing line weights. So certain areas I went thicker and other areas I went thinner. Okay. So uh, after this video, this video is just me inking. Uh, there was another video that I put up earlier and that was the, uh, the lettering. Um, I, after this one, I'm gonna do another video on how I'm gonna color. I'm gonna color directly on top of uh, this, this pencil and ink piece. I'm going to use uh, markers to color it. Okay. I'm going to continue inking some of the hair. Again, land it. Okay, I'm going to make this sharper. Make that sharp. And then right here, I'm going to press down. So those of you who are wanting to learn how to use a brush, this is the best tip I can tell you. Land the brush softly. Uh, lift up it. Lift it up softly. And then always look look at where you want the line to end i don't look at the tip of the brush as i'm inking the line i look at where it starts and where it ends okay so we're gonna do that i look at where it starts and i look at where it ends you'll be surprised how your hand moves to where it ends automatically okay right over here we're gonna get in more of these lines okay so we have that so far, and now I want to ink in the top of the line, thicker holding line. Anytime you're inking comic books or figures, you always want the holding line. Holding line is the outline. You want that line to be a little bit thicker. Okay, I want to continue here, inking this line, and thicker here. So if you want it thicker, you just press down harder. Okay, right over here. Ink that part, ink this part, ink this, give this a thicker line. And then I'm gonna turn it around and then watch. I make sure I do a ghost line. Ghost line is I'll do that line to see if I can I can reach there first. And then when I'm confident, then I'll go back and I'll slowly touch that line. Okay, so right here I'll do a line like that. So I'm inking directly on top of the original pencils. Of the pencils that I that I drew over here. Okay, I'm gonna continue inking some of the the thicker lines, and then the inside lines. You want that to be thinner. So these are just smooth lines. Make sure you follow through. Okay, it looks like I'm out of ink, so I'm gonna dip my brush into the ink. Right over here. Some of you who are watching this video, you're thinking, "Wow." Walden's putting the bottle of ink directly on top of the artwork while he's dipping. I usually don't do that. I only, I'm only doing that for uh, for this video, so you can see uh, how often I I dip the ink. So so far, I've dipped the ink uh, two times. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly, and I'm gonna release. Re as you're watching this video, this is released in the real time. I'm not gonna fast forward. I'm I'm also narrating as I'm inking this piece. Okay, just continue. I'm gonna continue inking all those lines, thicker line here, and then the outside of the line. Continue here, here, here. We're just we're just flicking, flicking the brush. Okay. And then right over here, we're gonna continue flicking. Okay, continue flicking. And these lines are pretty easy. They're just like little spears. Kind of feels like a uh, drawing grass, inking grass or or speed lines. Okay, all when you're inking something like this behind other objects, make sure it flows through. It follows through. Okay, just like that. Here we go. We're going to continue. And we'll add another line here. Okay. And we're going to continue inking the hair. For the most part, this this, freak, this drawing here is mostly inking the hair. But it's, this is a good technique uh, for you to watch if you're interested in learning on how to, how to land that line and how to end that line with a brush. 
So flick it, flick it, control. Uh, the only thing I'm concentrating on is how how hard I'm pressing down and how light I'm easing up. And over here, I'm just going to continue here. Okay, and then we're going to do more here. And all the pencil lines, sometimes I don't really follow it exactly. I mean, especially since this is my, my own pencils. Uh, sometimes the pen, when I'm making, usually I'll, I'll use the pencils as a guide to help me inking correctly. You don't have to follow the pencils exactly like the way it is, but be as close as you can. Okay, that one's a little bit bumpy, so I'm going to go back in there and add another line. And right here, I'm going to thicken up this line. We're going to continue going forward. It looks like I'm out of ink again. So as I'm out of ink, I'm just going to take my bottle, dip it. And when I dip it, I'm only dipping in halfway. I don't dip my brush all the way in. Because if you dip it all the way in, you're, you're taking, you're absorbing too much, too much into the uh, brush. And then there's a chance that you're going to be inking blobs. Okay, so this one works much better. We continue flicking these lines right over here. Continue flicking, flicking, flick, flick like that. And here, just separate each strand as you go. There we go. And then there's some strands here. And then I'm, I'm jumping all over the place only because as I'm spinning the page, uh, my hand seems like I can reach that arc better. So I might as well just do those as I'm spinning the page. Uh, a lot of times when I make it, I'm constantly turning the page uh, with my left hand. Only because I, I can ink a smoother line going that direction. Okay, we're going to have that come back in here and then have this go up here. Okay, and then so many here. Okay, we're making this here. Okay, we're almost done with the hair. We're just a few lines away and then we'll be done. And then when the hair is done, pretty much almost everything else is done. Uh, but then there's gonna be uh, other tools that we use to do other textures. So we're almost there. Can we do this a little bit quicker? Inking all those lines. So now I'm, as I'm reaching the outside, uh, outside of the hair, the holding line, I'm going to make those a little bit thicker. The thicker holding line just completes the figure more. Okay, then there's, a, there's another strand right over here. We're going to have this one go through here. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Take your time. See, as I'm making this, uh, this video may be like a good few minutes, but to me, it's just like I'm enjoying this. Uh, I can't say that inking is very therapeutic. It's very re relaxing. It, it's almost to a point where it feels like you're you're meditating. So, so it's a lot of fun. So we have that done. And let's see, we're going to, what else we want to ink? We're going to ink uh, the hands. Okay, I'm going to dip my ink again. Dip my ink. And I'm going to start inking this line. And, and then the person I'm going to, I'm doing this commission for wants colors. I, I, I drew a lot of rendering, but uh, with colors, I think I'm just going to, coloring all the details instead of you know all these hatch lines that i did i'm, I'm gonna color it in so uh i may have drawn too much more than i need uh, but we'll see maybe i'll add it in because a lot of times colors will just cover up some of the uh those details okay i'm making a shadow right now and then the hand now hand line weights i'm gonna i'm gonna go thicker here thinner and then thicker here Okay, this gives the finger more form. 
So thicker, thinner, thicker, and go around. So do that again. We're gonna go thicker, thinner, thicker over here and then go around and then the bottom hand i'm gonna use the side of the brush watch how, watch how i push the side of the brush when i use the side of the brush i'm gonna get a thick line and then i'll ease up to get a thinner line okay and then we're gonna have this collar uh the sleeve over here we're gonna make this thicker and then the inside we're gonna fill it in i'm gonna fill this in uh, i'm gonna create a halo there halo line separating here and then i'm gonna fill this in okay so this is the back area uh, most artists, the first time, I remember the first time I started using a brush, uh, I was very frustrated. I couldn't control the brush. It was, it was just, it wasn't cooperating. I was just using a micron or a, a quill nib. Okay, here's, okay, I forgot to draw the inside. I'm just going to com complete, I'm just going to draw and ink what I missed over here. And then we have the, the, the sword part right here. There's a black area. So we're going to fill that in behind the letters. Fill this in behind the letters. Draw that line. Okay, and then uh, fill all of this in. Okay, so be very careful with inking around the letters. Uh, fill in this part. Uh, we're going to go... We're going this way, filling this part right over here. And then we're going to fill in this. Good, so far, so far so good. I might, might as well just fill in all the rest of the other wax. I'm going to ink this in. Okay, that, there's that one line that doesn't belong there. I'm just going to kind of wipe that out. This is a white out a gel pen. Okay, I'm just going to fill this here. Give this a little shadow here. Fill this in. Fill this. I'm going to have this go around here. I'm going to fill this in. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way over. This is this, this chest area. Have that to be dark. In here, with this black. And we're going to make this black as well, the shadow area. And then uh, right over here, this is uh, a cross hatching technique. So let me show you how to do cross hatching. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in here so you can get a better look. Okay. We're going to start uh, cross hatching right over here. So we're going to go like this. So I start with a tip and I'm pressing down. So the only thing I'm concentrating on is where I'm starting to tip. The press down just comes automatically. I'm just pressing down. That's like a muscle memory. Okay. And then I'll turn it this way. And then again, I'm starting with the tip. Just make sure you stop with, uh, where you want it to stop. So I'm spacing it as I'm pressing down. Like that. So start with a sharp tip and then press down. There we go. It's all about spacing. So once you're done, all the insides, you're going to get that triangle shape. Okay, I'm just going to fill in some of the areas. There we go. And then here, we're going to pull back out. Pull back out. And then we're going to ink in some of uh, this area. So there are some uh, hatch lines to a uh, black area. Here, so this is black. We're going to fill this in. We're going to go in there and then cross hatch. Okay, now we're going to ink in the arm. Ink in the this arm looks like the arm is over here and this is part of the glove we're gonna freehand that we're gonna ink in this sh uh, shoulder here we're gonna make that really thick 
here we're gonna continue here and then we're gonna go thin and then i'm gonna go thick as i go in and then as i go thicker i'm gonna be having those lines closer to each other there we go see and then we're gonna dip my brush again do my brush and then when you get this uh the back of this uh, shoulder pad we're gonna go like that and then here we're gonna go bloop just like that you're gonna go really quickly give that give that a bulge and it looks like there is a little muscle here and then here's this arm let's see what you get this arm Okay, we'll let that area dry first. But before, while we're waiting for that area to dry, we're just going to ink in this area. Because I don't want to ink in this arm while it's still wet. And then kind of smudge it. So I'm just going to start working on this area. Thicker, thinner, thicker. Thicker, thinner, thicker. So this is like a, a fabric pattern. Thicker, thinner, thicker. Okay. So I'm going to continue doing that thicker around. And it looks like it's shifting. So we'll shift, go around here. Shift, go around here. Shift, go around. Shift. There we go. And then we're going to continue that all the way. See, notice I'm not following the pencil because I want that pattern. I want to keep that pattern. If I change the pattern, it's going to look off. So that's the color. And then uh, we can go back, go in there and do some uh, details uh, on that uh, on the color. So what I'm going to do is just just ink in some of the lines like that. Okay, we're going to do that all the way for the rest of them. It's like that. So this is uh, just hatch lines. I'm just pressing in the brush, kind of like earlier how I did the sword at that area. I'm just pressing it in, just giving it some uh, texture. Can you see I'm just, just pressing it in? And then here I'm just going to follow through with the shadow I drew in earlier. Just like that. Going to continue going all the way. And there's a shadow on this bolt, so I'm just going to cross hatch the shadow and you, I can use a quill or a brush or a micron or a technical pin but since I have the brush in hand already might as well just use a brush um, I should mention uh, every tool that you use you can pretty much ink any texture just it's just that cer certain tools can do a better job than another tool okay. uh, uh, best advice I can give if you want to be a comic book inker, uh, which is what I do for a living, uh, is to understand all your tools, and then the more you understand it, uh, the better you'll get at it. Okay, we're gonna do some lines over here, textures on the face, some lines over here, follow through. Okay, here's the ear. We're gonna hatch in some of the ears. Okay, we're gonna continue doing some of that texture right over here. I'm just gonna continue use. Oh, let me zoom back. Okay, I'm gonna dip my brush. Dip my brush again. Let's see. We're gonna hatch this way going down. We're gliding, so I'm like an airplane, like you're skipping rocks. You're throwing a rock in, it's lightly hitting the paper, and then it flies back up. That's what I'm doing with a brush. And the only thing I'm doing is uh, spacing it evenly. Okay, we're going to go this way. We're just going to go all the way down. Again, the, the only thing I'm concentrating on is spacing them evenly, starting at the right point so they're consistent with one another, and then ending it at the right area. Okay, and then right here I'm going to hatch this way to give this more form. Okay, 
that earlier I said I'm not, I wasn't going to do all this detail hatch, but then this is kind of fun. So I'm just going to continue to do all those details. So hit the nostrils, we're going to hatch in this, this line here. Add some shadows here. The nose over here, we're going to add some lines over here. Okay, I'm going to continue adding more texture on this side. We're going to go this direction. Let's see, this direction, maybe this direction. Just spacing them evenly. So we have that. And then now we're going to do the, the back of the neck area. We're just going to hatch them. So I hope you enjoy these videos that I make. Um, I've been doing YouTube for maybe two years. I mean, I had the account for, for a little bit, but I wasn't really thinking about doing it. Uh, but after doing, uh, doing these videos, it seems like you know, people enjoy watching them, so I keep doing them. Um, feel free to let me know what kind of content you like watching, and then I, I can film more. Um, I make these videos in between uh, comic book work that I usually do. Uh, again, I work for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, um, any publisher, a lot of publisher for, for a while now. And this, this video editing became a hobby of mine. So it does take a while. Like if I film a video, it takes maybe, say for example, I filmed a video that only takes 15 minutes to film. It takes me a whole day to edit it. I mean, it takes, it takes time. So it, it does take a little bit of time. I'm going to continue inking this way. You don't know the longer the video is, the, the longer it takes for me to edit the video. So if you enjoy these videos and you want to support me, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Uh, my Patreon page is patreon.com slash uh, Over there, uh, just if you want to support, just um, check it out. I also offer uh, tiers uh, where if you wanted to learn how to ink, I, I can, you know, mentor some of your work and then give you homework, give you assignments that you can ink. And then when you're done, I would critique your work. I would uh, communicate with you one-on-one -on -one to show you what you're doing good and what needs to be improved upon. So if you're interested in that, uh, check out my Patreon page. Also, all my social media links, uh, if you want to see, is uh, under Walden Wong Art. So I have uh, Facebook, Walden Wong Art, as well as my personal uh, Walden Wong um, Facebook page. I also have uh, Instagram, which is also Walden Wong Art. So check that out. Uh, I also have Pinterest, Twitter, the all under Walden Wong Art. I think if you do a Google, you do a Google search and then for Walden Wong Art, and you'll see all my social media page. Or just go go directly to my website. My website is waldenwongart.com. Check out my website, and then on the top uh, left of the website, you'll see uh, buttons to all my different social media sites. So uh, check check out my uh, website to see all the different uh, social media links that I have. I'm gonna grab my bottle of ink, dip it, and then continue doing all this. Uh, oh yeah, this arm. I'm gonna continue this arm. So make sure you get that line right, and then once you have that, you're gonna ink it in. Press down harder. Give that a nice thick line weight, and then follow through. And then this one, we're going to fade in. So we're going to have some crosshatch lines. And as you go into it, you're going to go thicker like this. And then fill that here and then fill this in black. Fill this in, just press down and then fill in the black. And then there's a black area over here too. So we're going to fill this in. And then here, we're going to do the outside. This looks like a fireball logo, so I'm gonna ink that in. There, and then we're gonna cross hatch. Cross hatch again, spacing. And then as I go into the black area, I press down harder. I press down so hard that those lines starts to meet up with each other. There we go. And then this side, we're going to do the same with a cross hatch. 
and then I'll press down harder and then the lines will close up. And then I want to ease up on the line. There we go. And then fill this in. We're going to make this a little bit thicker here and thicker here. And then fill this in. Fill that in with black. Fill this in. Fill this in. Some artists, they like to fill in uh, the, the ink areas last, but I like to just do it as I'm going so I don't have to come back to it and look for it. And I'm using the same brush. Same brush for the line, same brush for the ink areas. Okay, here's some uh, taper lines over here. Uh, since I'm going to start a, a new technique, I'm going to dip my brush. Dip my brush. Okay. Might as well just fill in all the areas that that it's not completely inked yet okay here and then now i'm going to start tapering these lines watch press down press down and i want these lines to close up there we go close up so they have a nice pointy tip and as it goes in it's a nice pointy tip going into the the inked areas Okay, so we have all of that done. Going to finish that logo. And then we're going to ink in this texture. The hatch lines. Again, it's all about spacing. And all about keeping the spacing consistent with one another. You want those curves to be the same curve. Okay, here are some like hatch lines here. I'm gonna continue doing that. Okay, all I'm concentrating on is the spacing. Also concentrate on where it starts and where it ends. Okay, and then we're gonna do some more here. Just gonna concentrate on the spacing. And this just adds form to the art. Okay, and then we're gonna do it for this side as well. We're gonna go start small and then go larger. And then I'm concentrating on how long the line's gonna be and how far apart they are. We're just gonna go all the way here. There we go. And then on this side of the arm, we're gonna follow the flow. And then as I go towards the uh, the wrist thing, that's the same flow. There we go. And you know, I might as well just ink, uh, hatch in these lines too, since I'm inking it all. So over here, just press down and hatch these lines. Space them evenly. Space them evenly like this. There we go. And then I'm going to hatch in, uh, taper in these lines. Close them up as I go into the black area. Okay, and then the glove texture. Okay, and then uh, the shadow underneath here. And then the glove texture here. I'm going to go quickly. Whip it. There we go. Add a little bloop over here. Okay, and then add texture here. Press down, loop. Press down, loop. Oop, and then you you get used to this uh, after a while. Uh, after a while of inking, you kind of develop a, a skill uh, or a technique. And then um, it's something that you need to practice to be able to figure out. And then uh, once you do uh, inking for a long time, you, you, you get used to it. I remember when I first started uh, inking, I would ask other inkers, how do I know when to get the line thicker? How do I know where to make the line thicker? Um, how do I know when to do this? How do I, do I know when to do that? And then those those people would say, you just do it. Uh, you just practice. There's no really rule. You just do what you think is the best place to do it. And then it will just work out. And then at that time, I didn't really understand. What do you mean just do it? Isn't there a rule? I mean, isn't one plus one is two, two plus two is four? 
but but what they said is true you know you practice inking after a while you kind of get the feel of how your tools work and what works best for you and then you you really just just do it as long as you get that same uh look in your art uh, the consistent look uh the soft look the smooth look with the art and everything pops and every all your figures are like you can see it that that's all that matters okay and there we go now i'm just gonna continue some of the lines so right now i'm pretty much almost done with everything i'm just gonna, gonna ink in some of these other lines with a brush i haven't even used a micron or a quill yet okay we're just gonna continue on here Okay, and then some of the these line textures. This is uh, his outfit. Can you can this texture? Can you can this line here? Okay, and then we're gonna continue going here. Add another one here, and then here. So I'm pretty much gliding my brush across. Slowly, slowly, just again, one line at a time. And as it get towards the end, I just shift, I just shift the, uh, the artwork up with my left hand. And now continue inking all of these in. So how many of you are watching these videos to learn all the techniques or you're just using watching this video and putting it in the background? Uh, I'd like to know. Uh, comment down below so I know who's uh, watching my videos. If you're a, like a comic book artist or if you're a student or you're just watching for the fun of it, I'd like to know like uh, wh who, what type of viewers are watching uh, my videos um, so I can um, make more videos geared towards uh, you guys. Okay, so that's it. So that's it. That's all the stuff I need to do with the brush. I'm going to switch over to my quill, put the brush away. In the quill, let me show you my quill. This is my quill. It's just the Hunts 102 quill. Uh, this is a special holder that I bought from the Cubert store from a long time ago. Uh, you, they also sell it on Amazon. Again, look under my video if you want to uh, buy, buy some uh, on your own. And then my bottle of ink. Uh, I will use a different type of ink. This time I'll use a black magic ink. I find that black magic ink works better with a quill. So the black magic bottles of ink, they come with a dropper like this. And then I'll feed my quill. See? So right here, I'll, I'll feed it. This way, the ink is only on the bottom and it's clean on the top. And I can ink longer that way. Some people dip the whole quill inside their inside their uh, bottle and then it gets a lot of stuff over there so now i'm just doing all the textures with the quill so right over here oh you keep that round part and with this quill you can you can ink a really thin hairline line so it's just some of the textures Some of the just give us some of the rough textures. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys have a better look. Add some textures here, here. And this very I'm just gliding through. Don't really need to press too hard with a with a quill. Some more textures here. Just give some nice textures. Okay, and then um, it's basically, oh, he has a little earring right over here. Okay, it looks like I'm almost done. Things are done before you even know it. Okay, fill this in. Uh, some shadows, I'm going to get some hatch lines over here. Okay, and then um, so it looks like there's a little fabric ink in that line oh gotta ink in this logo thing inside so uh we're gonna ink in uh, these textures over here can you continue to do it over here 
this gives it a, a little bit of thickness form I'm just pressing down and then I'm flicking upwards How many of you are still watching this video all the way? This is a long video. Okay, now the logo. I'm going to ink in some of the logo. Comment down below if you're watching this video all the way. And, and I thank you for watching this video all the way because it is a long video. Uh, sometimes I'll make short videos. Um, I think I'll make this as a preview video. And then uh, do th so for those who want to do a, a quick view, instead of watching the whole video, they can watch that. And then uh, I'll do this as a long video for those who want to watch the, the whole thing. Okay, some texture here. So for the future, any anytime I make long videos, I'll do a preview video, which is a kind of like a, a, a high speed video of me doing the work. Kind of like a preview of what the uh, regular video is going to be. Because I, I know not everyone's going to want to watch like an hour long video. But then there's some of you who who will like to watch an hour long video. It's like going to school. You can you learn some from it. Okay, that's that's all the textures. And just add some more textures here. Just add some texture to uh, the knife uh, to the sword. Add little bumps here. Just a little bit of texture. Just just to make it look cool. Okay, add some textures over here. Oh, oh yeah, the lips. Let me ink in some of the... Okay, and I'm going to cross-hatch the nose over here. Okay, let me do some double lines. Just just, just to make it look cool. And then uh, on this ear, I'm going to do some double lines. Just to give it some form. Yeah, a little bit extra. Oh, it looks like I'm done. Okay, let's zoom back. Let's zoom back and take a look. So here it is. This is the uh, the inked the ink piece of Final Fantasy. So there we go. That's the uh, art for this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't done so already, hit that notification button. That notification button is when I upload new videos. You'll be one of the first to see. And when you get a chance, check out my website. My website is waldenwallart.com. On my website, there's a lot of uh, galleries, a blog, videos, um, news, and a lot of things that I upload uh, frequently. Uh, so check that out. And if you enjoy these videos, please think about supporting me over on Patreon. My Patreon is patreon.com slash waldenwallart. Uh, there's there's different tiers, uh, tiers where you enjoy these videos, you just want to throw a little bit in, and uh, mentorship uh, as well as uh, homework assignments, and you would draw and I would critique you one on one. So think about check, uh, checking that out. So until next time, uh, keep on drawing, and the more you practice, the better you'll get. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.